tell us a little bit about your pieces. Okay. Um, well, a lot of this show is um, inspired by probably the pandemic and the fires that we've had in California. I found the surface of the burnt wood to be really uh, interesting, and so I, I've been scavenging burnt wood from friends' fire pits and out of our wood stove. And so this piece is, um, I've, been, I've been using uh, the eye as an icon for years and years. And so this one kind of, I added this in, and I like the shadow. That to me is sort of about wearing a mask all the time. Yeah. And um, this one is the same thing, it's called Who Knew, and that's kind of about uh, wondering who knew about um, uh, the potential for the pandemic that we went through. And I made these two pieces, they're, um, they're about um, perception and um, clarity and cognitive decline, I guess you could say. Um, this one is called So I Gather, and this one is called Star Lady. And it's called Oryx. It's, um, I was really moved by the book Oryx and Crack by Barbara King Solver, so this is kind of a, a reflection on her writing, I guess. This one is, uh, this was the hardest one to do, and um, even though it looks real simple, I had to do a lot of heavy manipulation of that wire to, um, Boy, to yeah. make it all work. And, uh, so, Where did you collect the wire? This came uh, off of our property, taking taking down old horse wire from previous uh, owners, and great. so it's been around the property. And I just find these things and drive to my studio and see what they do. This one is called um, what do they call it? Oh, how now? And that is about. Um, um, losing your footing in whatever way you might, like how we might as a culture keep pick up and go on after the pandemic, or how now with agriculture, the things that, I'm, that I worry about basically, I ask how to go forward. And uh, so this is the key, it's an old key, so I think you can use the old ways, or, and this is kind of a, maybe a, Spiritual guidance element. <laughs> this piece is called uh, Noah Purifoy's Portal, and it's about it's. I did a took some photos at Noah Purifoy's place in Joshua Tree and did a series of drawings based on that. So that one I thought it kind of it, it really changed the direction for me of my work and uh, so I thought I'd include it and this one I don't have the tag up yet but this one is uh, the taxidermy head of the coronavirus and uh, that was just a piece of wood that I found in my scavenging that just looked, looked very scary and menacing and then I thought taxidermy that would be what I'd like to do with it. <laughs> so that's that's my show. Great, thanks a lot, Mama. All right. <laughs> so um, this this is one of the new pieces that I created um, for this show um, with Madeline, and we found that we had some iconography in common, like the key, like her key in this piece. So I gather I'm using a key that is actually created a um, spinning top. Um, in this piece called Spun Out. Um, these pieces really also are speaking to um, things that emerged through the pandemic, um, whether it was really personal or more widespread, social, cultural, political. Um, there were so many things, right? So um, I kind of let myself experiment more so than in the past recently with bringing in ceramics. And so ceramics is a medium I teach, but I don't usually use for my artwork. So that was a really nice uh, kind of intuitive process that I let evolve. Um, this piece here um, is a real new, uh, new direction for me, and um, it's called Kinship. 
And it's really um, using these very basic materials like clay and copper and wood to um, kind of create this pattern, sort of thinking about micro and macro. Like these shapes to me are kind of like neurons in a way, but yet also how they connect interior and exterior, you know, close and far. So this piece is sort of an abstract um, about uh, reflection about kinship and connections um, and how they can pull you and support you, um, that dichotomy. And uh, this piece is called Message in a Bottle. And it's, as you can see, has four compartments where four um, simultaneously uh, different things are happening. We've got the compass kind of uh, gone awry. We've got um, this image of um, something growing, but half of it is charred, reflective of the fires we've been experiencing. This has kind of got a four leaf clover within a bottle, like sort of a message of hope. Um, and then this is a uh, plumb bulb that's kind of pointing at this measuring stick. And it's pointing at where the ocean temperature should be, but is not. So these are reflections within that. And uh, these pieces, I'm really using objects that are thrown away, that are discarded, that are no longer useful, but I found um, a new voice for those uh, discarded things. Um, this is another one over here. And this one is meant to be held. And so I don't know if you can kind of see it in my hands. Um, but this, this piece has got a sliding door and sort of two parts. And um, the way it's designed is there's no up or down. There's no right or wrong. Um, this again is a key that is being um, toggled with what to me feels like a tiller um, from a boat. And the title is Tiller Towards Trouble, which is sort of a nautical term when you just have to uh, absolutely quickly change direction. And so this is kind of a reflection of um, the political landscape of recent years. Um, anyway, and it has on the back, I always put a little title piece on the back, but on this one, it's just turning um, to kind of connote the chaos and just the, the, the nonlinear uh, way things have been feeling uh, recently. So that's one, um, one up more uh, assemblage piece that I've really enjoyed making nice. uh, for the show. And then these things here are ceramic um, functional pieces. Um, these are little planners, um, just kind of little nature objects. And um, these are a series of, uh, they could be tiles or they could be trivets or, or coasters, but they're all the same uh, leaf image. But um, using iron oxide, I create sort of shadow images and different versions of that same, um, that same image. So these are just a little more decorative and more sort of functional, kind of like tableware to go alongside with the more conceptual stuff. But nice. it's been a pleasure uh, having another opportunity to show here at uh, Chat. Thanks a lot, Madam.